Jennifer said that I can't he have a supervised visit because Cammy said no. To hired excuse was because my son is doing the better this way. I could not have a supervised visit that's what the excuse was he can. Have a visit with your son until you have an attorney. Again, to me the excuse that they use was stupid. I think that they trade me this way because they think that I don't know any better than them. Why take advantage of me? And they don't even let me talk over the telephone? I wondered why I can't speak. To my son over the phone, Jennifer said that Tammy said she doesn't have to answer telephone even though the judge said to she said that the judge is in her box. That has the excuse. They said to me that's why I could not have any phone calls because... Tammy, now I want to talk about you too. I wouldn't make fun of anybody just because I'm not that way. If she hadn't disrespect me and my father, I not been made fun of her back. I did because the lack of respect she had for me and my family. By the promise not to do it again. Now I want to talk about things that bother me that they said in court. Like her friend testified in court that bother me because she was a liar on the stand. She would lie about things, like when she was talking about the movies that I'd watch or not be appropriate. She never actually saw me watch TV. I'm pretty sure if the TV was on it would be cartoons for Jordan. Besides, in the daytime isn't no scary movies or action movies. Only at night besides, if I was a see something like that, it would be in the bedroom by myself. That's how it was. So that women lied today on the stand. She only went to the house once or twice to all she said was her name and I said my name to that was about it. Now, I want to talk about other complaints. They're talking about, I did go to Silver Stage Drug Counseling that came a woman and a man named Dan and Richard, but Richard died when I was going there. See, I did try to get help from my drug problem. Her attorney doesn't know what help I do get, he just assumes, but doesn't know the truth. He also accused me of being selfish. I know that I am not a selfish one. Here it is her. What kind of parents would take a child from another parent? It's the selfish one. It is her siege. I am not selfish with him as they are. And I just wish that they realize that I'm his father and that that, that will never change. You can only say that I'm not his dad, but you know in your heart that I am his father and there's nothing you to do to stop it. I'm just him. I also remember them saying that she made more money than I did. I got my tax return, show them it to I can't prove that Tim even made more money than she did. I remember my last year I worked at Liberty, I made $20,743 in 2007. I will show you my tax return, just to prove that she likes again. I wish she would just tell the truth, things would be a lot better this way. I want to tell, also want to talk about when I call the FBI, I call them to tell them about my situation. The first thing I remember saying is it's true that a father does not have the right to know where his son lives, because Jennifer told me for me to know where he was it is invasion of privacy. So I asked the FBI if that was true, she said you have right to know where your child is at all times. This is not invasion of privacy. To know if you are the legal father, it also your right to have him during holidays for one half day and also your right to have him once a month. If you pay child support and during spring break he should be staying within during the summer. But in the state of Nevada us to have insurance on him. She said the FBI agents told me good advice that day. Dot by Vincent Goodmont, November 15th 11. Extra thing to say. That there is a not day goes by that don't think about my son. I hope that you give me a chance to show you that I am a good father. It won't be hard because I always was good dad. A lot of people see me with my child around town and know that I am a good father. Even then, I don't have money to pay child support. It was unlike I didn't want to. I just didn't have the money to pay. But that doesn't mean that a bad father. I just don't have the chance to make money yet. In some way of a job and make money and... I will get paid. Eventually it's just it's really hard to find a job and to win Amuka during the winter time summer around the corner and that would be job everywhere and first thing I would do is go to the child support and let them know I have a jab when I get one. I also want to say if you were to terminate my rights I won't give him but I would apply to some Iraq back right away that that's the kind of father I am. I remember when I tried to call him once the next day I was charged for stalking. All I wanted to do is speak to him over the phone. I just missed hearing his voice and when they answered my phone calls, I wondered why I was treated this way that day. I cried because I missed him so much. I just don't take care of him. He also takes care of me. I need him in my life just like he needs me. I need him play with me because I love him so much. In ways that they don't know what I mean is I actually play with him. I love to play G.I. 
Joe with him. We have so much fun playing. Please give me a chance to play some more with him. Even if it's it with a guardian of item, I know that it will make him happy because I do know him. He never had a seizure with me. He was. Always happy. I was confused when they're saying that he did not speak until he was for years and I have many videos of him speaking to me at the age of one. If you would like to see the film, I have many of them I could show you. He only spoke to me and tell me things I know that he didn't say to other people. See, he needs me because when he goes to school I know that it will be very hard for him. I want to let him know that he is special even though he will have trouble in class. I will bring his self-esteem up by letting him know how special he is because he's just like me. Even though I don't have a job I know that I am a special person. People like me are very rare. I can't see. But he has to be around people that special like me so I hope that you give me the chance to be his dad The reason I wrote this was to let you know that those people is like in your courtroom and I hope that You check out everything My name is Vincent Guzman, I'm infamous number one I was at the bar, you know, a couple weeks ago And I was listening to a song on the jukebox And it's from Nickelback And it had this song called I don't know, I don't know the name and title of it, but it was the same the same lyrics as my song Dance With Me, except one word different from being the same. Isn't that extraordinary? I think that Nickelback's a bunch of wannabe motherfucking me. What do you guys think? I think so. A bunch of wannabe motherfuckers. It better not be my fucking lyrics on that fucking song. I swear to God, I'll fucking take you all down. Copyright infringements against the law. My poetry is copyrighted. If you don't believe me, you want to come test me? I'll take your ass to court and fucking prove it and shove that fucking... My copyrights up your ass. Come and play and play. We'll play hard. You know you want this. You know you need this. Dressed up like Hollywood The stars and stripes shine like they should You know you want this You know you need this